Okay, check your size room. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So this morning I'm doing a quick video of showing you how I waist train. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to find YouTube so I can be able to see. Let's bring this down. All right. Oh, it let me back. I don't know what just happened. Oh my God. I, they just literally kicked me out and I'm back. I don't know what just happened, guys. I don't know. Hold on, let me click this video so I can be able to see your comments. Okay, I can see your comments from here. Let me put this right here. So I can see everybody. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sisters. Good morning. Please come on in. Please make sure you like and share this video. Uh, this morning, sisters, I'm going to get my vehicle detailed. And I'm going to drop it off there. But as I drop it off, I'm going to walk the dogs back home. So we're going to be walking. So that's probably going to be a, a five-mile walk. But I'll be okay. I'll be okay. And um, so I'm going to um, take my stuff there. But before I do that, I'm showing you um, how I waist train every day. This is what I do every single day. Um, and also, I'll give y'all an update as well. Um, I am going to be getting a tummy tuck. Um, my skin has not um, adhered back as I would have liked it to. Um, so I have like my good days. I have my bad days where, you know, my skin, it, my stomach will go flat a little bit, but I still have this pudge, the pudge that, as I said, that they did not take away, okay? And I paid all this money, and like I said, and it, it did, they didn't take enough fat out anyway, okay? So, uh, Michael Williams, good morning. Just wanted to say that I think you are one of the most beautiful women I've ever <coughs> seen on social media. Keep doing what you are doing. It's working for you. Michael, thank you so much, King. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Max um, Strowman, how are you? Hi, love young. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Tanisha. Hey, Tanya. Good morning. Hi, Dorothy. Hey, Allison. Hey, Ray. Hey, Keisha. Hey, China. Hey, Shaleen. Hey, honey. All right, y'all here, right? All right, all right, all right. Please make sure you like this video. Please make sure you share this video, right? So, um, this is what we're going to do. Uh, hopefully, y'all can see me good enough, right? Now, here's my little shirt that I always wear. Um, like this is what I always wear. I don't even really wear, I mean, unless I wear a full outfit, but this is the shirt that I'm always wearing. I have a, a lot of them. I bought like 10 of them just for this so that when I wear it under my faha and things like that. So the first thing that I'm going to show you, you need saran wrap. I don't even think this is, this is not even enough. Hold on. Let me get my other one. This is not even enough. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here's some enough more saran wrap that I've got, okay? Like, I go through this stuff like it ain't nobody's business, okay? So, this is what we're going to do, all right? Rhonda, hey, boo! Hi, girl! So, this is what I put together. I put your shea oil, and then I put the abilene together, okay? So, we're gonna, I'm going to do this demonstration on what I do. And we're going to strap up, okay? Now, I still do swell. I still do swell. Let me just show you all my stomach. Okay, so y'all can see how I look. Okay, my skin didn't go back. It's down enough, but as you can see here, I still have this. Can y'all see that? This is still here, and I need to get my stomach, my skin stretched out. You see all my good skin? Stretch it all out and tighten that there, and then I'll be fine, and I'm, and I'm good, okay? So I'm getting a tummy tuck, okay? I'm getting a tummy tuck, okay? All right, all right, so... 
the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some of this glop. Hey, Chanel. Hey, honey. I'm going to grab some of this and I'm going to put this all around my stomach and my back. Okay. Now, this is what I do. I take that. I grab the jachet. Okay. And I put that all over my stomach. And you know what I can say? I can truly say it's helped a lot. My stretch marks have gotten a lot better because my stretch marks are, are something, honey. But you know, it is what it is. They're my beautiful battle scars. But I am trying to reduce them. And so I do the process of before I do all of this, I massage. This is really a great thing that you need to do post-op surgery. You should massage, okay? Even if your skin is still loose, make sure you massage. Drink up plenty and plenty of water. Um, I drink um, lemon with ginger, ginger root first thing in the morning. So I'll do this and I'll just massage myself, okay? And watch how I do my hands, okay? I get all in there, okay? I get all in there. I get all in there. I massage and massage and massage and massage. Make sure I massage that all in there, okay? Hey, Shanae, good morning, boo. Hi, Deborah. Okay. It's been almost a month after my surgery. It's, I'm still so much pain. You're in so much pain? Uh, why? No. Like, I mean, pain where you can't, is it bearable pain? You're still going to be in pain. But are you, is it because you're tight? Um, and when you say pain, Explain to me the kind of pain that you're having. Okay? Okay? So remember I showed you this, guys, years ago. Years ago. I think, I, I don't know if it was on this channel. Probably was on my other channel, my Judas Sussex Class channel. That I showed you how to do this years ago. We were like, ew, ew. Uh, hold on, wait, wait. So see, I'm trying to hold my stomach in as much as I can. Okay? Now wrap this around. Okay, wrap this around. Y'all can be like, Drew, you really be strapping it. I sure do, honey. I sure do. I sure do. Come on, friend. Let's start with the antics this morning. Okay, just strap me in. All right. All right. So I'm good. I'm good. All right. Ah. Okay. We strapped it now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my J Sculpt waist trainer. You can get this at www.jsculptfitness.com. So I was in a medium. I went from a medium to a small. So I'm in a small now. It does give me a hard time sometimes to put this on, but I got to hold my stomach in child. You hear me? I gotta pull it in. Sometimes it's hard to do it by myself. No, it's hard to do it by myself. My kids to help me, but then when they're not here, I gotta figure it out. There we go. Okay, so I, I pull this down. After I pull this down, because I could put my shirt on first, but no, I'm not doing that. I pull this down, right? And then after I pull this down, um, I'm gonna put my pants on. Okay, so um, I think depending on the size of your butt area or whatever, this might flip right up or whatever, but let's see how it acts today. Okay. Now put that there. Now we got now. Yeah, you busy this morning. Okay. All right, Sasha. Now, what we are going to do. Okay. Good morning, Marie. Okay. Lulu, where you at? I'm waiting for you, boo. Okay, so now here we're gonna do this. Uh oh yeah, this is a process, but even after some people just give up and be like, oh, okay. Because you know what? People try to say that you're not going to get fat back in those areas or you're not going to gain weight in those areas. That's a lie. I don't believe that's That's not true. That's not true. They tell you wherever you liposuction is going to go other places, but it's not going to go 
on the place that you've got liposuction, that's a lie. Because I've seen people who've had tummy tucks. Bye, Juju. Love you. Have a great day. I've seen people who've had tummy tucks. Lipo. People that I personally know. And came back. Oh, did she take the charger too? Hold on. Let me make sure I put the charger on the phone. All of it came back. So you got to eat right. You have to eat right. And then another thing too is it may not come out, come back at as fast but you'll start gaining weight in your face you'll start gaining weight in your neck wherever you didn't have liposuction that fat is gonna go there okay please make sure everybody y'all like this video please and share this video if you haven't yet okay don't let nobody um fool you try to tell you oh it's not because why you see people go to for, for round threes round fours round twos and stuff like that i gotta get more lipo why would you have to get more lipo in a spot that if the lipo if the lipo is if it won't if the fat won't come back in the areas that they lipo lies lies don't be trying to let these people bamboozle you please don't let them try to bamboozle you okay so so here's that you see that so now i'm strapped in i can wear this all all day long and be gully all right now i go to a second layer of measure okay because y'all saw how my stomach was right so later on when i post if i post the picture if i come back on again y'all be able to see like yo look how fast it'll go down so sometimes i'm out majority of the time sometimes i'll put the preparation h the abilene and then just shade oil and i mix all of that together and then i will apply it and then do all of this um but i'm out of preparation h i don't have any more i don't have no more um somebody was like how did you come up with it why would you put because if you think about hemorrhoids um hemorrhoids right preparation h what is going on Are we back? It says that we weren't connecting. Are we back, guys? So, so check this out, right? Because I told you I got this liposuction 360 and BBL, they didn't give me a BBL. All they gave me was lateral, okay? So, I um, contacted a place where I want to go to go get um, my procedure done. I'm trying to go to Dr. Doback, but Dr. Doback doesn't, he specializes in BB and Lipo 360. I need to get a tummy tuck. So um, I'm I, I'm going to, I think her name is Chavez, Camelia Chavez. That's who the doctor is. And um, it's New Life Surgery Center. And they're in Miami, Florida. And um, what was the point I was trying to make? I forgot. I'm sorry. It'll probably come back to me. But yeah um when they looked at my stomach they said i need a tummy tuck i know i need a tummy tuck i've always known i needed a tummy tuck the reason why i did the the life 360 and the bb and the bbl first was because so that they could take out the fat and give me what i wanted but i didn't get what i wanted but i still look good anyway so what i'm trying to so what i'm trying to do is now since this is you know i look nice here you know like i don't look fake so whatever um it is what it is i have these hip dips i don't they told me that i don't have enough fat for them to be able to fix my hip this because that's all i want yeah i don't need to fix anything just fix this but they told me that they couldn't do it because i didn't have enough fat so i was like maybe if they could take some fat out of my arms and my inner thighs or whatever and put it there but um you remember you need to have a lot only because they say 50 percent of 50 percent of the fat dies they always tell you that 50 percent of it dies so due to the fact that 50 percent of it dies um i'll put it'll be just a waste of money okay so hear this see that so this is how I literally, you go in September to do that. Rhonda, I don't know, but I'm going to try to schedule it um, for me to go. Are you staying at a recovery house? Because when I get down, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, hopefully I can get my stuff done this summer. And the reason why, if I can get it done next month, if I can get it done in two weeks, three weeks from now or whatever, I'll do it. I just, my goal is to get my kids out of school because once my kids are out of school, we're, I'm going to fly down there with my children. And my children will stay with my best friend's house. And, you know, I can stay at the recovery house for a week. You get what I'm saying? And then after I stay there for a whole week, after the seven days, I'm going to go to my um, my um, Jacksonville to go stay with my best friend. And I'll just stay there until, you know, I heal up. And then I'll come back home. So that's my goal. That's what I'm trying to do. I just want to make sure my kids are out of school before I get any other procedures done. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, but see how I'm, like, strapping in? Okay. You see that? 
Now, when I say I'm strapped in for the day, I'm strapped in for the day. I'm tight. Look, I know you're like, Jules, that's excessive. Nah, honey, it ain't excessive. Believe you me when I tell you. I am strapped all the way in. I'm comfortable. I'm not in pain because, I, like I said, I do this every day. It doesn't hurt me. I'm not, no. And remember, my waist is small at that. Um, it's just, I'm just trying to, you know, get this right here in line. So the flatter I get it, the better. Um, so I'm going to get my muscles tightened. Not only am I getting my muscles tightened, I'm going to get the tummy tuck. And they said they're going to do um, my flanks. And they're gonna do my waist, and that's what they told me. And I said, "Cool." Um, and they, the quote they gave me was forty three hundred dollars for my tummy tuck. Down here, when I went for um, a consultation here, they told me eleven thousand dollars here in Virginia. It was just a tummy tuck. It wasn't even lipo. It was just the tummy tuck. They were charging me eleven thousand dollars just for the tummy tuck by itself. And mind you, remember, even though I'm gonna pay forty three hundred dollars for this lipo and this other, um, the lipo and the uh, the lipo and the um, tummy tuck. That's not including the massages, okay? Um, or you know what? I'm not sure. Let me. I'm gonna ask them. I gotta get back so I can find out because they just basically told me how much it was gonna cost. So, and then you know I still gotta get massages and things like that. So you gotta take all that stuff into account and all the products that you have to get. And also, if you live out of town, you have to get a flight. And then if you're gonna go stay at an Airbnb or you're gonna stay at the recovery house, all that stuff is gonna be factored in. So when you say probably with everything. I'm probably going to spend about 6500 even I paid 4300 but I'm probably going to dish out 6500 and everything combined, okay? So um, these are the things that you need to take into factor if you have not taken these things into factor. Um, see, I was debating on a recovery house or just a nurse because I live in Florida. Well, Rhonda, if you, if you have a nurse that's going to be with you 24-7, you know, why not? You know, um, you, I would just, Rhonda, you know what? I would just gauge which one is cheaper. Is it cheaper for you to get a nurse or is it cheaper for you to stay at a recovery house? You know, um, if you have the nurse, it's one-on-one -on -one with you. Make sense? It's one-on-one -on -one with you. So um, to take care of me, I know after the seven days, I'll be because I'll stay at the recovery house. And then because of my children and stuff like that, and I don't, you know, mm -mm, I don't want them seeing me like that. So I just kind of like, let me just get through this the first seven days and see how that works. Because I know after the seven days, you check in with them or whatever. So that's why I'm going to stay there. Yes. Hi, Jazzy. Hey, boo. That's right. You need to. Um, Another thing, too, is you need to make sure if you do not have help, if you do not have somebody that's going to help you, do not do this procedure. I, could, I can't stress this enough. If you do not have anybody to help you, bathe you, wash you up, cook for you, make your breakfast, make your lunch, clean, you know, clean, um, clean, um, you know, remove your gauzes and things like that to fix you up. Because because let me tell you what I want. The reason why I'm going to this particular doctor is because it's going to be a no drain tummy tuck. Her incisions are so sleek. I saw Lorento. I saw him too. But the incision is so sleek. I mean, very thin. And the way, and I mean, I was like, yep. Because my thing is, uh, you know, my biggest thing was the scars. That was my biggest concern. My concern was the scars. And I don't want my scars to be big. I don't want it to look crazy. And I don't dress naked anyway. I just want to make sure that my scars are right. That's all. I just want to make sure my stuff is right. So if I do that, all will be well. Where did I put my dog's bags? Because I know this is going to be a good walk for my dogs. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can ask my neighbor if he'll come and pick me up. Let's see if he'll come and get me. Let me sounds. Can you come pick me up, please? Hmm. Let me leave my dogs. Oh, we'll just walk. We could just walk. I I recommend to do it in U.S. I went to Columbia and had the worst experience. Almost died and they want... Oh, they, yeah, that's right. That's right. I had to pay for even blood work. Yes. Don't make them the same. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Yes, they do. Um, Sis, what I will do is I'll put it inside of the... uh. What do you call it? I will put it inside of the description once the video is over once i you know get back and i and i settle i put it inside of the um the description bar for you the website i put i'll definitely put it hold on one second. i'll definitely put it inside there for you guys so y'all can go and look so you know if i'm going somewhere right you know i'm like i really think because i really i want to go to dr Dobak. if you're trying to get a lipos 360 or bbl dr Dobak is who i recommend you hear me dr Dobak, dr harry them two right there 
but because they told me I don't have enough fat to get another BBL and I, you know, to get a, a, a another BBL or whatever. And I'm just like, well, I didn't get a BBL. Um, that's not what they gave me. They gave me lab, but it said I don't have enough fat anywhere. So that's why they can't help me, you know, with that area, but I can get a tummy tuck. But once my tummy tuck is flat, everything else will look good. So, um, Lulu, Sasha, Sasha, Lulu, come on guys. Let's go. Let's go. Good job. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't think you, uh-uh, go in there. No, no, no. Get in the kettle. Get in the kettle. Good girls. Good job. Good job. Good job. See y'all soon. See you soon. I think they slip. They up and about roaming. So, um, this is going to be a walk for me, but it's all, it's all good. Did I bring my purse upstairs? That's my neighbor. Her dog stayed in my damn yard. We should put that damn dog on a damn leash. We wouldn't be having this conversation. Where is my wallet? Hmm. All right. So I got to go and walk. I got to go and drive my vehicle. Let me put on my glasses or whatever because y'all know I'm extra, right? Not today, Sasha. Not today. Not today, Sasha. Not today. Can I look cute? Yeah, I can. I sure can, honey. Mm -hmm. I sure can, and I sure will. Okay. Sylvia, good morning, boo. Um, I need to have entertainment enough to keep me walking or whatever and stuff. So hopefully the phone don't die, you know, while we out and about. Um, will my iPad work? It might work. Let's see. Let's be out. Let's go. So I can go drop off my car and then um walk my behind, my tail back. All right. Oh. Oh, there's Mr. Thompson too. Look, 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 there's Mrs. Thompson. Mr. Thompson! Mr. Thompson! Mrs. Thompson! I'm finding you. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? I'm driving. You know that, um, you know Fed Finn, that place is right, the car tire place right there? They, it's a car wash. They wash cars over there. Do you mind me being over there and pick me up? Because I'm dropping my car off there so they can wash it. I can't pick you up. Why? Ooh, you look too good for me. Come on, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Come on. Right, uh, you're going to Feather and Fan. Yeah, right across the street. You know the place that's right across the street from Feather and Fan? Yeah. It's like a tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. All right. I'm going to drop it off right now. You got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. Black time. Yeah. I'm taking it there. All right, thank you. Hold on, sisters. I love Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh God. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, sisters. Hello, 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 hello. Oh my God. Yeah, Tanya, thank you, boo. Everything is, is strapped in, but yeah. Thank you, baby. All right. All right, let's strap in this bit. Let's get it together. All right. <laughs> Thanks, boo. 
So when Mr. Thompson bring me back, or whatever, I can, um, he bring me back. I'll come home and do my work, because today's shipment day, honey. All right, but as I was saying, as I was saying, this is my AC off. We might lose connection, guys, okay? But I think I put out most of this information that you need. But like I said, that's where I'm going to go. Um, um, just type in Dr. Doback. Type, 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 type him in Dr. Harry, Dr. Doback. What I'm telling you, work is bomb. There's some other ones too. All of them that work. I'll be back. All right. Okay. 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 It didn't matter that they took out because I have skin. The, the skin on the top is fine, but all the way at the bottom, see, because like I told you guys, when I had my children, my stomach grew out. My, my stomach didn't grow out, it grew down. So it stretched my skin so much. So I, my skin has always been hanging. I worked out for years. You hear me? After Josiah, after Julian, it just didn't snap back. And I would try and I would try. And I did cool sculpting too. Cool sculpting, um, Helped it go down a lot too. Um, but I still had that skin. I still had that skin. So, but I know that my muscles need to be repaired. And that's why no matter what, like if I eat, even like, you know, after that, even if I eat, what would happen is like my stomach will still protrude out. It will still protrude out. Who wants to see that? I don't want to see that. I don't want to see it. I'm tired of wearing girdles. This is, this is, this is why, if anybody, Drew, why are you doing this? I'm tired of wearing girdles, okay? I'm hot. I am hot. Okay. Then I got this fupa on top of that, and then it's hanging, and then I'm hot. I'm t I'm tired of sweating down there. I'm tired of that. So I get rid of all this skin and get rid of it. Then I don't have to worry about that stuff no more. Okay. And this is the goal. I just don't want to wear girdles no more. Okay. Just don't want to wear girdles no more. Okay.